swing. Good swing there. That's right down the middle. Oh my gosh, guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. Let me tell you, the struggle is real. I'm working so hard. Look at me, I've got like dress clothes on because I just came from a meeting. I am going to be on Living the Good Life radio show at 9 a.m. East Coast time this Sunday morning. So that's 6 a.m. L.A. time. And uh, it's a really great time. I got to meet Al and Adam today, and they invited me on their radio show. It used to be called Tee It Up Radio. So they are super duper cool, and I'm hoping we're going to get to do a lot of good things together because we're going to catch up next week when they're doing a radio broadcast from the PGA show in Orlando. Now, I know I'm behind on my videos. I'm working so hard. It's just hard to keep up with everything. I shot so much great stuff with Michael Lundberg last week. So today's video is me and Michael Lundberg teamed up against Mason Mallory and John Levitt, two of the top pros here in Southern California. So check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Hit them long and hit them straight. Hey, Christoph. What is going on, man? Well, it's good to see you. My main man, Mason Mallory. How you been, bro? Good to, bro? See, you, Good to see you. How you doing? Michael, Hi, John. Nice nice How you doing, bro? What's happening? Good to see you. Look oh. at this. Michael. Pleasure nice to meet you. you. I'm John Levitt. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like the luckiest oh. golfer in the world, man. This is so cool. And he, the guy says, you got the shot. You just played the wrong shot at the wrong time. You're always trying to play the great shot. And yeah, sometimes you don't have to do it. You just have to get it over. Get it back in position. You don't have to play the greatest shot all the time. Sometimes you just play basic, average, ugly shot just to get back in position. Or whatever. Yeah, that's make make sure you don't hit a bad. It's not like that in golf anymore. Now you no. just, you have to hit the great shot every single time because if you're not, if you're playing safe, some other kid's yeah, going for again, the great if shot. You, if, yeah, for the but if you're not having the best week of the year, uh, like you're about to win, sometimes you know, when you're not, when you're feeling you're not spot on your game, then sometimes you go, do I want to play this high draw with three iron, or should I just aim middle of the green? Like, <laughs> high draw with three iron, like, or should I just play this low cut that I normally play and leave it there? Because I, because even if you play those shots with three iron, four iron, even if you play perfect, how often do you make a birdie anyway? So all I had, I don't have to try and make a birdie. Well, well the, the, get it. like, I don't know, Crystal told you, but I, I wrote a book and, and I talk about that. Yeah. And, and one of the things in the beginning of the book is something called the rule of a thousand. Mm -hmm. So like, here here I am, I have to hit a high three iron and, and draw it yeah. to make sure that that's the closest, I, that's the shot that gets me the closest to the yeah. hole and be aggressive, right? But then you have to use the rule of a thousand. Like if I hit the shot a thousand times this yeah. way, or if I hit just a little cut into the middle of the green, what would give me the best result in a thousand try? What what would give me the best oh, number, right? So I and, used to and, say the same to some of the other guys. Right. So that so that's and and from there then you proceed, but then you proceed aggressively, right? If you're gonna play safe, you, you play safe aggressively, right? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the shot right there twenty feet right of the hole. You don't you don't just say like, Oh, I'm gonna get it away from, I don't wanna hit it over no, here. No. Right. So that's that's so what you're saying, I I'm not saying that every shot you have to go no balls out right i'm gonna i'm gonna fire it right at every f there's there are sucker pins out yeah, there and sometimes then you leave that pin and say i'm gonna play this 30 feet to the right or whatever the water left pin left you just aim 30 yard uh, 30 feet right but and you go and just hit it there that's this time. the aggressive play yeah sometimes. absolutely to to go at it and and know that you have to land it in a, in a saucer that big with a five iron to get it close why would you hit that no, shot right because exactly. because in the long run, in the rule of a thousand, you're gonna make more bogeys and doubles, right? That's what I saw Christos' video when you were there the other time, and uh, I was watching it, and he go, this guy knows what he's talking about. He go, I like this, because there's hardly anyone else talking about these things. They're just coaching technique, they do this, and you go, that's not how you play golf. Don't fucking hit while I'm hitting, you're gonna embarrass me. <laughs> I just got this head in the mail this morning, the jet, the jet, the pan one, the SLD. So I just put it on. I, that was my first ball with it, and I love it. Oh, that's, oh, that's a brand new head. It's he a used, but it's brand new. It. I, I saw straight. one shot, and you go, mm, yeah, I don't like. It. I hit it straight. I like you. I'm sure. What, what do you? Oh, oh missed it. not that you? My, I, I have back problems. But then I worked as a coach for like three years, and I got things down to like 104 or 103. You go. 
Yeah, and and some of the guys are playing when you go, you got 130? Yeah, it's great to be 60 yards behind and you go, no, I need such authority. And then the videos and you go, just by as an amateur, he gave, he went from 95 to, he could get it up a lot. And you go, I want to see this. Maybe I will learn something out of this. And I think I'll Pretty good. Hey, you guys know I think I'm the luckiest golfer in the world, but check out this foursome. Hey, look at that. I've got three pros out here. We are going to play a two-man scramble tournament, and I'm going to be with my main man, Lundberg, and we're taking on Mason Mallory and John Levitt. So this should be uh, pretty darn cool. So unfortunately, Lundberg has to carry me. We'll see what happens. <laughs> As shocking as it may sound, I actually hit the longest drive off the first tee. Um, that's pretty remarkable considering how long all of these guys are. And he's the closest. That pin is right on the right edge of the green and I drew it in oh, no. very nicely. <laughs> So Michael gave it a shot. These greens are pretty tricky if you've never played here. And then John putted his birdie putt a little bit south. No problem knocking it in. And Mason Mallory following up with about a 12 footer. He's just outside of the camera. And then I had my opportunity. Now I'm trying to focus and use all the lessons and everything that I've been learning, but also at the same time try and let it go. Oh, three beauties. That was a nice putt. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank you. So here my main man Lundberg, he uh, pitched it up just short of the green and then uh, out of the trees he had this amazing little shot like to a foot. These guys had a couple chances at birdie, but it wasn't to be. <laughs> Hey man, crucial up and down. It's <laughs> awesome. So Mason ended up sticking it to about a foot to tie the match. Oh. So we make it to the fourth tee box. Now these jokers have the tee. John right down the middle.
Mason up the left side, but perfectly fine. Lundberg, right up the middle. I got mine out there with everybody else. It's so exciting to be able to hit it that far. So what just happened here, Michael? Well, we hit the two good shots, and then they hit two shots inside us. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we've all got some short birdie putts, but we've got to convert now. So Mason's already in at birdie, so I had to try and make mine. And Lundberg just misses. These, uh, these balls, they look flat, but it breaks away from the mountain. So fifth hole, now we're one down. We all hit great shots and uh, Mason was the farthest so he rolls his birdie putt. This is one of the more challenging holes here. And then I had my birdie putt, a big swinger from right to left. And uh, I gave it some gas. <laughs> now here I'm hoping Lundberg is going to square the match. Beautiful putt, just needed a little more juice. <laughs> so this putt doesn't matter, except for I'm trying to keep my my routine and my process going that I've learned from these, these pros. Nice. That's a good putt. That's not an easy putt. Three there. <laughs> right now these guys have us by a hole but it is a battle going to the sixth tee box par five uphill so michael pulled his drive just a touch Little drop kick, but it's right up the middle. Lundberg's able to hit it right in front of the green. Lundberg gets up and down, and then Mason gets up and down for their birdie. Moving on to the seventh. Hey, where, where are we at in this match, guys? Two you tights. Guys up one? I don't want to I say don't it. think so. You guys are up one, right? Got, uh, yeah, so, all right. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> So these, guy, these guys are up one, so. <laughs> so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be. Thank you.